Hi guys, this is Dr. Nanda with Keys of Health. You know how I'm always talking about cruciferous vegetables and how important they are, what role they play in our bodies. You have heard me talk about them over and over again. One lovely viewer asked me what to do if cruciferous vegetables cause gas and bloating, which is a common symptom when you consume a good quantity of good amount of cruciferous vegetables. So this is what I want to talk to you about in this video. What you can do to make sure that you do not have gas and bloating when you consume cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, um, kale, uh, cabbage, turnip greens are rich in antioxidants which help protect against cancer and heart diseases. They are rich in vitamins and phytonutrients. I have discussed sulforaphane in one of my uh, videos and it's amazing anti-cancer and anti-tumor properties so make sure you check that video out. They also provide the roughage your, your gut needs to perform uh, optimally and stay healthy and a healthy gut means a healthy you. So bottom line, cruciferous vegetables are great, but there is a downside. These high fiber vegetables have bad reputations as gas producers and rightfully so. They contain large amounts of an indigestible sugar called raffinose. This same sugar is found in beans. So if beans give you a hard time, then you can blame raffinose for that as well. Our gut has bacteria. When these methane-producing bacteria in the gut feed on raffinose, they release gas. Some people suggest cooking the vegetables to break down these sugars in order to reduce gas, but extra cooking makes them unpalatable and also destroy the vitamin content and also destroy their effectiveness. By the way, side note, if you cook cruciferous vegetables in aluminum or copper pots, they not only change the taste, but they also destroy the vitamins. All right, going back to the original point, what can you do to avoid gas and bloating when you consume cruciferous vegetables? The extent to which your body produces gas depends on the kind of bacteria in your colon that break down food for digestion. You can work on cultivating a variety of good bacteria in your colon to give them the ability to handle this tough job of breaking down raffinose and uh, digesting your food. There are a few things you can do. You can try eating yogurt, kefir, kimchi, uh, sauerkraut, or buttermilk regularly to boost the friendly bacteria in your colon. You can also take probiotic supplements, which I suggest you do. This, they can really help reset your microbiome and uh, help ease digestion. I recommend you take a good supplement with at least 10 strains of bacteria and make sure that it is at least 50, 50 billion CFU or higher. The way you pair food also makes a huge difference. If you eat cruciferous vegetables as a side uh, with a fatty meal, that might also cause you to produce more gas because it takes longer to digest. So I recommend eating cruciferous vegetables on their own. Pairing cruciferous vegetables with lemon juice or vinegar can also help in reducing gas as they digest. I also recommend taking plant enzyme supplements as they can help break down hard to digest sugars and let you get benefit from these vegetables without being in pain or being uncomfortable. Another thing you can do is introduce small amounts of these vegetables to your system and then gradually increase. So you can eat very small amounts of broccoli every day, gradually increasing your intake to see if you can build tolerance for it. When you steam or blanch these vegetables, try adding some cumin powder to the water or a little bit of baking soda. I'm not exactly sure of the reason, but it really, really works. It actually makes them easy to digest and produce uh, less gas in the colon. You can go for the South Asian mild freshener after you eat cruciferous vegetables or beans or other foods that cause gas and bloating. These are fennel seeds, which can help expel gas from the digestive tract. Try chewing or swallowing half to one teaspoon at the end of a meal. It really, really helps. Lastly, you can drink ginger and cumin tea with some lemon right after the meal. This will help the digestion and relieve gas. All you need is one inch piece of grated ginger and one teaspoon of ground cumin or even seeds, cumin seeds boiled in a cup of water. Squeeze half a lemon before drinking it. These things should really help and let you enjoy the benefits of these amazing vegetables without being in pain and being uncomfortable. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you shortly with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.